Uh, my name is Jenny. I'm the new city ambassador for Latino Outdoors. Um, it's an organization based out of California. We are a national organization now <laughs> that we're out here. Um, and our purpose is to connect the Latino community with their with the outdoors, with their national parks. Okay. to have a voice in conservation and areas like that. What sparked your interest in getting involved with this? Well, it was more of um, accessibility. You okay. know, if you were to go to a public land or something like that, well, somebody, you know, Latino descent or something like that, there's not really a big representation in that community, and sometimes that can be a little scary for, for people who want to go visit a national park, you know? Sure. It doesn't seem accessible, you know? It doesn't seem like something that that community can go and participate in. So, I, I was looking and I was asking the organization California if they had something out here that I could join, and they said, why don't we start one? So you had did you gone to a lot of parks before and had that same feeling of like ah? Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, I went to Arizona. I went to Arizona with my friend to Sedona, you know, hike the free trails, yeah. and I felt like I was the only one there, you know, for a little while, yeah. you know. And it's it's different, you know. The population in, in the towns in Arizona, there are Latinos. Maybe it's not something they want to do, or maybe it's something that you don't find accessible to. Mm -hmm. so, and what have you found is the best thing that works to engage people in conservation and visiting these parks? Accessibility. Uh, if, the, if you can get them. so the pro for New York City, the problem is transportation. Okay. If you can get somebody with the transportation, you can get them to the public places. A lot of people don't drive, so I find that to be like one of the biggest things. I mean, we do in New York City, we do have public transportation, and it's widespread. But public lands are so rural, like Brooklyn. So if you live in Queens, you would have to go through the city and take a bus. Right. Did it start since you were a little kid, or was there some trip you took, or some park you visited? Actually, it was my friend who uh, I started hiking like maybe five, six years ago. We went up to Mohawk. I had never been there before, and I was just amazed to like what's out there. You know? And since then, I've done like trails, you know, taking my family out. It's hot, it's it's pretty cool.